If you're on YouTube, you've probably heard of Lauren Elizabeth or seen her videos. She lives in Chicago and has a gorgeous apartment. So I figured if you're trying to live like Lauren, I'm gonna show you some apartments inspired by Miss Lauren Elizabeth herself. I'm Claudia. I'm a realtor in Chicago and I work with buyers, renters, landlords, and sellers. But I was watching Lauren Elizabeth's most recent video, which is getting a lot of attention. And I don't want to say why because I don't want to like disrespect her announcement. So um, I'll just link the video if you want to go watch it. But in the video, she's like in her apartment. And I was thinking to myself about some of the buildings that I've been to with renters that give kind of a similar vibe. And I wanted to share some of those buildings with you. Full disclosure, I have no idea where she actually lives. I've never met her, she doesn't know I exist. So these are just similar vibes to the apartment that I see in the background of her videos. So the requirements I was looking for are as follows. Floor to ceiling windows, city views, newer slash more modern finishes, I'm assuming a full amenity, secure building, and all of these are downtown Chicago in the River North area. So we have three buildings that we'll be looking at today, and if you want more info on them, email me or fill out the form in my description box, and we can chat about them more in depth. But the first building has two different finish levels, and the first one we're seeing here is the lighter of the two. So lighter floors and cabinets, and this is their two bed corner unit floor plan. This one faces northeast so you don't get the whole skyline view and we're also on a lower floor but you still get the city vibe and obviously the full floor to ceiling windows and corner units are just supreme with windows on both sides like this. If we peek out the window you can see the pool area and obviously it's winter so it's closed but here's what it looks like in the summer. This unit has a balcony, the guest bedroom is off of the main living room. And if we walk behind the kitchen, we have the primary bedroom with a walk-in closet, a lovely bathroom with a nice big shower and double vanities. So now let's take a look at a one bed plus den and this has the finish level that's just a little bit darker. So we can take a look here at the comparison. This unit is obviously smaller, but it still has a nice big kitchen and big island. I will say the appliances in this unit are smaller and more compact, but if you're living alone, it probably works out just fine. This one still has a balcony and a decent sized bedroom as well. Moving on to building number two, the layouts are pretty similar, but the finishes are different in this building. They're more moody. So this first unit is a one bedroom plus den and a two full bath. So you have this kind of, you know, den slash office here, a full bath, and then of course the Chicago coat closet. This is a look at the primary bathroom. As you can see, the cabinets and the, you know, built-ins are darker wood and same with the floors. This one does have a beautiful view of the city. And this is the primary bedroom right off the kitchen. And this isn't a full corner unit, but you get that kind of like secondary window that makes it feel like more of a full corner unit. And of course, the beautiful city views. Here's just a little bit of a more like in-depth look at the kitchen and the finishes. You have the same kind of integrated appliances with the cabinetry. And then if you walk through the unit, again, you just have this like one window that I really feel like gives such an extra little special moment to this unit. And then of course you have the balcony and it's a pretty spacious unit. This one is the true just one bedroom and the leasing agent did tell me that the kitchens are the most popular feature in this building. People love the cabinets to me. It like makes me kind of hungry because it makes me want an Oreo McFlurry. Does anybody else feel that way? Cause that's just like what I think when I look at these counters. The appliances do seem bigger in this building. 
And again, they're integrated into the cabinetry, just like the other building. And you have the darker floors in this unit as well. The vanities and the stone in the bathroom are like matching with everything in the kitchen, so it's all very cohesive. So if you like this vibe, this building is awesome. This one bed still has a really big walk-through closet, a sizable balcony, and then as we walk into the living room space, you'll see it's actually pretty big for a one bed. A lot of these one beds in these buildings can be really compact. This one does face west, so you're not getting the Chicago skyline view, but you still get the floor to ceiling windows and it's still like a city vibe. The final building I wasn't able to get a tour at until next week and I wanted to post this video this week. So we're gonna do one of their online virtual tours, which I actually love and I'm really happy more places are doing this now. I wish I had a VR headset because you can even view these in VR, which is so wild. And they honestly feel very accurate to how it actually feels when you're in the unit. So this is a two bed unit. And as you can see, again, we have more lighter finishes in this one, lighter floors and lighter cabinets and countertops. So this is the entry. You have the Chicago coat closet. And then you have this interesting pegboard, which I actually haven't seen in any other buildings. And then if you walk in to the living space, as you can see, we have corner windows, a lovely city view. This one is on a lower floor, but I like how it has this built-in wine storage and this like pantry right here. So the appliances aren't integrated into the cabinetry, but some people like just the look of the stainless steel appliances and these are more modern cabinets. You still have a nice gas range with five burners and then high ceilings. This one actually has more of like a lofty vibe with the concrete ceilings, but you have this awesome kind of like wraparound terrace. And of course you get all the city views. You have a view of the Sears Tower over here. So over here, you have kind of the second bedroom, which would be, you know, for most people like an office slash guest room. This one's awesome because it still has the corner windows. You get an awesome view of the city closet. Your laundry is gonna be in here and then bathroom, you have your full size washer dryer, and then let's go over into the primary bedroom. So of course for the primary you have an ensuite, you have double sinks, you have stand up shower, same kind of vanity lighting, same vanities as in the second bathroom. And here is closet. Closets, you have two closets, which is awesome. And then here is the bedroom. So it is definitely a little bit smaller and you don't get quite as good of a view as you do in the second bedroom. But honestly, like I'm one of those people that I'd rather have a good view in my office where I'm spending my time being awake than my time being asleep, <laughs> if that makes sense. I wanna know in the comments what you prefer. Do you prefer like a big, luxurious primary bedroom with amazing views even though you're only using it to go to sleep or do you prefer the like better views to be in the living spaces where you're actually going to get to appreciate them so that is it for this unit i kind of like the more industrial vibe that this unit has i think it's really cool also wine fridge yes please okay it seems like they're very wine enthusiast friendly, which I appreciate. So the reason that I don't talk about pricing in today's video is because of how drastically the pricing in these buildings fluctuates based on the time of year and their vacancy. One of the leasing agents told me that the two bed I looked at ranges from four to $5,000, depending on how many they have available. So that's why I say contact me if you want more info so I can give you the most timely and relevant information and give you information on buildings that are offering better pricing at any given time just based on their vacancy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.